Hello, my name is uh, Nicole Ganshorn and I'm here to talk about, um, sorry, been a rough day. I'm here to talk about mental health issues. Um, when I was 29, I'm 37, when I was 29 I was diagnosed bipolar and it's been one hell of a journey ever since then. Um, also dealing with a little bit of trauma shit that I went through. And uh, it's been an interesting go. Um, I usually do a night for mental illness here in my little town called Salmon Arm, um, BC, Canada. Uh, it's a little night I throw. I've done it for two years in a row and it's called The Beauty Within Us. And this year I chose to take the year off and not host the event. Um, in the event I've written a book called The Beauty Within Us and it's got 10 main poems about mental illness. Um, about mental illness itself, being bipolar, uh, fear, anxiety, depression. Uh, abuse, addiction, surviving addiction. Um, yeah, it's quite the little book. It's packed with a lot of stuff so that if you're suffering with mental illness, you know you're not alone. And it's great night for people that love loved ones that are going through it, but they just don't quite get it. Uh, a lot of people that suffer from mental illness will understand when I say people just don't quite get it. Um, it's not like a light switch that just turns off and on. I wish it was like that. But when you're battling depression, it's, uh, it's a hard one. It seeps right down into your core, into your soul. And it often makes you give up. Um, I was there once, but I'm not there anymore. But I am here to talk about mental illness. And I thought, fuck it. I'm going to try YouTube. I've never done a YouTube video in my entire life. Trying to figure out how to do it was a little bit insane. So this is my first video and I don't even know if it's going to get put on to YouTube but if it works I am hoping that people start following me and my journey um, I'm 37 years old my name's Nicole and I've been going through tons of shit uh, I've had to set major boundaries in my life and uh, some of them are not fun boundaries. I've had to walk away from people that I really, really love. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I fell into alcoholism, addiction, on this path as well in the last eight years. I still have hiccups sometimes. But, there's one thing about mental illness and people don't talk about it. And I remember when I was uh, 29 getting diagnosed bipolar. I had just left an eight year relationship, lost everything, had to go bankrupt, lost my career. I couldn't hairdress, like it was shit rock bottom for me. And everybody was like, oh, don't worry, we won't tell anybody that you're bipolar. And I was kind of like, well, fuck it. Like, so I'm bipolar. Um, I have extreme ups and downs, and sometimes I get shot right up into mania, where I then start to um, just lose my rockers, my head all together. But I think it's time we talk about it. And 
I... just want people to know that maybe just got diagnosed bipolar or suffer from depression, anxiety, that's a bitch. I think anxiety is one of the worst ones. Cause then you're like, you don't even want to like do anything. You don't want to leave the house. So I think I'm going to talk about my moving forward. Um, I have a friend that's been posting amazing pictures of her working out on Instagram. And they're so moving. Like they're really, really moving. Like I'm not, I'm just starting to get into exercise. But um, she's so buff and she's so beautiful. But she puts these huge posts that are attached to the picture of her looking amazing and they're like all about like moving forward and finding yourself and loving yourself and um they're so inspirational i i really really enjoy them and i thought okay um i'm not quite a gym buff but what I have put my brain through in the last eight years, if my brain could look like a picture, it would look like hers. Because going through mental illness and fighting for your fucking life every single day to stay alive, to want to live, My brain would look like her pictures. Mental illness is not fun. I've learned so far journaling is amazing. I have a good journal and I have a bad journal. And sometimes I rip the pages out of the bad journal and I burn them. And I'm not making this video so that I'm popular. I'm making this video so that other people that suffer from crazy head shit know that they're not alone. I have an amazing psychiatrist. I have a trauma specialist that I see. And on occasion I see a drug and alcohol counselor. And now I've just been moved to um, another counselor that's gonna teach me about being mindful and mindfulness and being in the moment because a lot of times when you have um, triggers or flashbacks or anything like that regarding your trauma if you are dealing with trauma at all in your mental illness it's hard to sometimes get back down to reality so I'm excited to learn more about that and share it with you guys how nice it is out a lilac bush the beauty within us the night that I do in salmon arm the first night I had it over a hundred people showed up which was pretty cool and then the second year I did it only probably about 50 people showed up but the people that I had come, I think I impacted a little bit. It's not a fun topic and it's not fun to talk about mental illness. It's kind of
kind of depressing. But what I say to people the night, when I open up the night, I say, you know, for those who are here for um, ones that suffer, your loved ones, you're going to find tonight very depressing. <laughs> But be glad it's like one night. Those who suffer from mental illness, they don't sometimes even get a day of happiness. They don't know. I'm lucky because of my circumstances. Um, I got to feel for 29 years what happiness felt like. I'll get into that a little bit later, but, well, fuck it. I'm talking, I might as well say it all. Um, I have a thing called a fracture. And this is a thing that happens when you've been through trauma and you don't want to remember, you kind of like at first I called it an alter ego, but my psychiatrist has informed me it's not an alter ego, it's a fracture. And I'm still just learning about it. I only ever discovered her this last October and right now is May 2019. And I'm just starting to figure all this shit out. But I was lucky enough for 29 years not to remember. And I, uh, I got to feel happiness and normal and everything. Like I was normal. I was totally normal. Totally normal. Until I hit 29 years old and ended up in a psych ward. And I even, it was kind of funny, you'll maybe laugh about this, but um, I thought I was Jesus going to the Noah's Ark. And I kept trying to escape the padded room to go look at animals. Yeah. I call that moment in my life ground zero. And I've been uh, rebuilding myself from that point. I think a lot of people with mental illness have a ground zero. It's like, take the shittiest time of your life, dig a hole 10 feet deeper, jump in and then dig another 10 feet deeper. And that is where the pit of mental illness sits. There's no fucking ladder helping you out. You gotta just find your own direction. You often feel very lost.
I'm at a point right now in my life where uh, I've had to set some major boundaries. So, I don't talk to my family anymore. Um, I love them, but uh, needed to set some boundaries there and I've lost friends. Some really good friends. And then some friends that I've had to lose. I've lost relationships. So here I am, 37. And I'm at like a, a different level of ground zero. It's not as bad as the psych ward because I'm actually facing my demons in the real world. See, I'm not in a psych ward, but I'm dealing with the same issues that put me in the psych ward seven times in the last eight years. That was a nice booger, hey? Sorry. It's funny because I don't have TV. I don't watch TV. I find after a day's worth of work, I like just silence. It's really nice. And I journal and I write. I don't even listen to music. Although I love music and I like to dance. So I don't know. I'm feeling pretty alone right now though. And I just thought there may be other people out there that are feeling the way I'm feeling right now. I'll get up tomorrow morning though and put my happy face on and I'll go to work and I'll make so many people happy. I'm a hairdresser and I love my job and I love going to work. Work is like a major out for me right now. I love it. I work with a great girl. 